Hello guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my product unboxing and review videos. Now this is a HP monitor. Um, I bought one of these about a year ago, it's been really good, quite a nice um, bit of kit. Um, but I never did a review or unboxing on it, so I decided to get a second one for my work. And this time I'm going to do a unboxing and review on it. So, as I said, it's a HP monitor, it's the 25X version, 25 inch. Uh, it's the 144Hz gaming display with adaptive sync. We'll just run over some of the features. So along with it being 144Hz, it has a low response time of 1 millisecond. It supports, supports both NV NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync. So if you've got NVIDIA cards or AMD uh, Radeon cards, it'll work with that. It's native, um, excuse me, it's native resolution is 1080p. Um, and it has full height and tilt adjustments, which I'll show you in a minute. And diffuse lighting to reduce eye fatigue at night. So when it's talking about that, it's talking about here. This this green bar lights up green. These, if you're looking at buying this, you're probably wondering, these green bits here, these left and right, doesn't light up green. It doesn't have any backlighting at the back or anything like that. It's just this piece here. So we'll just take a quick look around the box. So it comes in this box here, all solid taped up nice. It has details on the side, it's just HDMI, oh it's HDMI and display port uh, as well. And there's a few more details here, 24.5, so it's not 25 inch but it's 24.5 uh, multi-language, it's an F on the uh, energy rating. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the box up, get it out, and then we'll continue the video. So we've got the box open, solid tape on the top. Uh, it's very well packed, I will say that. So we've got a big bit of polystyrene here. So that's not going anywhere, it's not going to get damaged even in transit. Um, immediately I can see the screen, it's a flat, very flat. Uh, so it looks like they've included a HDMI cable with this, so you can get, this, get started using this straight away. Uh, it's not gold plated. It's not hugely long, but it would be suitable for most setups. Probably recommend using a DisplayPort cable for many reasons. So that's what we've got HDMI there. And then we've got something down here. So this here is the uh, stand base, and I'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, it's fairly weighty, and it looks like it attaches via the standard push and twist. It's got like a rubber thing there and rubber feet. We'll take a look at that. a bit more of that in a second. And then what else have we got? Okay, we've got a power cable, a three pin UK three pin plug, or in the States it'd be two pin, some in the UK, standard kettle type. So they include the power and the HDMI, which is great. Uh, what else have we got? Um, we've got this up, we've got instruction manuals, uh, sort of regulatory things. We'll check that out a little bit more in a minute if you're interested in that. And nothing else down here. So basically the screen stand has been twisted and it's put in like that. So I, what I would try and do is get this all out in one go. I may have to do this in a second bit. Yep, it's definitely in there well. Okay, that's that out. I was just trying to film this with one hand. It's a bit difficult. And um, there's nothing else in the box. So we'll just put this back in and then use the box to put the screen on. Okay. So the screen is, is in a standard the standard this anti-static type protection here. I say the stand has been stand goes twists that way anti-clockwise. So we'll take this out. And what I'll do is I'll show you the um, ports and bits on the back as well. So what I'll do is I'll just take all this off and then we'll get the stand and bits ready for it. Okay guys, welcome back to the uh, next part of the video. So I've got this screen um, set up. Um, by that I mean I've got the stand on the bottom and I'll show you that in a minute. It's got a quick setup guide on a piece of paper on the screen which comes off at the corners. Um, I've had a look through the instruction manuals. It's mainly just about energy and regulations, nothing really too interesting there. Um, but basically this is how it goes. So as I said earlier, this this the bit there, this actual stand bit on the screen would be like that. You twist it, put it on the bottom. Really, really easy to set up. And as it's got HDMI, display port, plug it in, 
um, it's got buttons on the on the bottom we'll check them out in a minute um, I didn't find anywhere any anything in the literature here that tells you exactly what the buttons do but from experience you press one and it comes up a menu and then it's got uh, basically uh, information on what the buttons do below it's very very easy to use I won't go too much into that I may show you one in a minute that I've got set up already just to give you an idea of what the light on the front looks like powered up in case you uh, obviously want to buy this so this is it here so we've got the um, this protect this is a screen protector as well just for a minute it says here optimum resolutions as well uh, 1920 by 1080p you can whack it up to a little bit higher Two five, two five six by one one four, um, but I run this at nineteen twenty by ten eighty p at one forty four hertz on my PC. But it says you should run it at sixty, but you can run it higher, obviously, because it's for that. So we'll take a look at the back. Uh, first of all, we'll just look at how this moves up and down. So it moves up and down like this. Um, it's very easy to to move up and down, and it sort of just stays where it is. It's almost like on rollers type thing, and that's how much it tilts. Um, it has has got a vase amount on the back. Obviously, you take this stand off HP logo there, and then we will take a look at some of these bits. We'll just carefully place that down. Uh, you've got your standard um, power included. Um, you got your you got your HDMI and Display Port. It's also got um, what's it got here? What does this say? UNE out. So if audio was coming via HDMI, you could plug a 3.5 mil stereo jack and go to speakers, I guess. Um, but your yeah, HDMI, which goes in there. So this doesn't have a it doesn't have a built-in USB hub. So that's important to note. Got your Display Port, HDMI, some sort of locking thing, I guess there or something like that. 3.5 mil jack and your power. Um, and as for ventilation. Uh, it's plenty of ventilation here. It doesn't really get warm, really. I've, I'm, as I say, I've had one before. It's, it's pretty good. And the bottom of the stand just goes on like that, long bit towards the front, and you simply just unscrew, screw this up real tight, as hard as you can get it, and just place it down. So that's the monitor itself. Actually, the um, my bad. The um, security lock thing is here, so you put a Kensington lock in there and just stop it from being stolen if you was in an office or somewhere, that would, could be an issue for you. Um, we'll just show you the up and down again. It's very smooth action and it does, even if you move it a little bit, it stays, it doesn't spring back. Um, to show you from this angle. I'll show you from the front. And then the next part of the video will be actually a monitor I've already got set up, just showing you the OSD and the lights. Hi, and welcome back to the uh, final part of the HP 25X review. Um, this is a monitor I've got set up already. Uh, it has all the stickers on the front 144 Hz, 1 mil response time, AMD FreeSync 1080p, height adjustment, ambient light. Um, when I was talking about the ambient light, I mean this bit here, so as you can see these are like, it's almost like a green accent, they don't light up. When I first bought this monitor I did think these lit up as well, um, but they don't. I think that kind of would have been a nice touch, but see HP designed it like that. You can turn this light on, it's not on and off, it's not a huge, huge brightness. At night it does give off a little bit of light, it's not um, overwhelming or anything, it's not distracting which is important. And uh, MV did a juicing. So on the bottom we've got the buttons. We've got one button here, two, three, four, five, and that's it. So it's five buttons. So you press this one here and you get this to come up. You press it again, you get this full menu, and then the next button along would allow you to scroll through. Uh, you've got all sorts of settings here. I haven't messed with the sense too much. I'm trying to think what would be interesting for you if you was buying this. Management. You can do factory reset in case you mess the settings up. And if I was to go back, it'd be the last button here. Sorry, that's the power button. No, so it's got four, four, four buttons for the OSD and uh, one button for the power. My bad. So the power button is literally right under that. So it's got four buttons. That's that's my mistake. So press that again. So if you if you press this one here on the far left. You comes up this menu, and then you've got. If you press it again, you'll get that. The next one along will be information. So this is currently the mode it's at: 1920 by 1080p, um, 
144 hertz, that's what it's capable of, it's capable of a little bit more. It does say 60, 60 hertz and it's got current display port, uh, current input display port, backlight hours, how long I've had it on for. I think it's not used, been used that much. Uh, the colour things, you can switch through that. If you pre pressing the button it'll switch. HP reading, night's good for at night, low blue light, I think I have this on custom, just go OK, um, press it again, and then if you press it again you get the source in input between the HDMI and the uh, display port. So guys, I'm hoping my product review uh, video, unboxing video for the HP uh, 25X is useful to you. If it is, uh, please subscribe and like the video. And if you've got any questions, I can hopefully answer them. Thanks for watching.